The last few months in crypto have been nothing short of a wild ride, with emotions running high and headlines changing by the hour. Investors, traders and even casual observers have all felt the rush of adrenaline as prices soared and tumbled, sometimes within the same day. As of December 28, 2025, Bitcoin sits at $88,000, a number that tells a story of huge gains and sharp corrections. This price isn't just a statistic, it's a reflection of the collective hopes, fears, and decisions of millions of people around the world. Just in October, Bitcoin hit new all-time highs, and optimism was everywhere. Social media buzzed with excitement and analysts predicted even bigger things ahead. But then, a 27% drop reminded everyone that volatility is Bitcoin's trademark. The euphoria quickly gave way to anxiety, as investors watched their portfolios shrink in a matter of days. This kind of price action is normal for such a disruptive asset. Bitcoin has always been a battleground between innovation and uncertainty, and these swings are part of its DNA. Every cycle brings a big run-up, a sharp correction, and then a new foundation for growth. It's a pattern that repeats, shaping the journey of every long-term holder. The key is to zoom out, ignore the daily noise and focus on the long-term drivers. When you look at the bigger picture, the short-term chaos starts to make sense. This recent dip, it's just the market shaking out weak hands. Those who panic and sell often miss out on the next leg up, while patient investors are rewarded for their conviction. $88,000 feels high compared to a few years ago, but low compared to the recent peak. It's a reminder of how far we've come and how much further there could be to go. This is where investors question themselves. Should they take profits now or hold on for more potential upside? The decision isn't easy, and there's no one-size-fits-all answer. The answer depends on your conviction and understanding of the forces at play. Are you in it for the quick gains, or do you believe in the long-term vision of decentralized finance and digital scarcity? The story isn't over, it might just be getting started. In the world of crypto, every ending is just the beginning of a new chapter, and the next big move could be right around the corner. When markets get shaky, and headlines are filled with uncertainty, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. But in times like these, it's more important than ever to pay attention to the signals coming from the world's most influential financial players. The big players, major banks, institutional investors, and global analysts, often have access to data and insights that most retail investors simply don't. Their moves and forecasts can reveal where the smart money is headed. Despite the recent dip in prices, major financial institutions remain bullish on Bitcoin's long-term prospects. They're not just holding steady, they're doubling down. Standard Chartered, a global banking powerhouse, has just released a bold new forecast. They now predict Bitcoin will reach $150,000 by the end of 2026. That's not just optimism, it's a calculated projection based on years of research and market analysis. To put that in perspective, that's a massive leap from today's price of $88,000. It's a target that would have seemed unthinkable just a few years ago. Standard Chartered's analysts believe the fundamental drivers for a new bull cycle are still firmly in place. Factors like increasing institutional adoption, limited supply, and growing mainstream acceptance. And they're not alone. Citigroup, another financial giant, is also optimistic. They've set their own 12-month target for Bitcoin at $143,000, signaling strong confidence in the asset's future. When multiple trillion-dollar institutions independently arrive at similar forecasts, it's a powerful signal. These aren't just passing opinions, they're the result of rigorous analysis and deep market understanding. These projections are grounded in careful study of market trends, macroeconomic shifts, and the evolving landscape of digital assets. They're not wild guesses, they're informed by data and experience. Standard Chartered's vision doesn't stop at $150,000. They see Bitcoin potentially reaching $225,000 by 2027 and even $500,000 by 2030 as adoption accelerates and supply remains fixed. For investors, these forecasts offer a way to look past the daily noise and short-term volatility. They provide a long-term perspective that can help guide decisions in turbulent times. The journey to mass adoption won't be a straight line. There will be bumps, corrections, and moments of doubt. But the destination, a world where Bitcoin is a mainstream asset, looks more promising than ever. 
the smart money is positioning itself for much higher valuations, quietly accumulating while others hesitate. These projections aren't just numbers, they're a roadmap for navigating the chaos and uncertainty of today's markets. So, ignore the noise and the panic. Focus on the big picture, and remember that the most successful investors are those who can see beyond the headlines. The next leg up for Bitcoin could be bigger and come sooner than anyone expects. The future is being written right now. Why are banks so confident right now? It all comes down to three simple letters, ETF. These exchange-traded funds have become the hottest topic in finance and for good reason. Spot Bitcoin ETFs have completely changed the game, making crypto not just a niche asset, but something accessible to everyone, from seasoned investors to complete beginners. No more complicated wallets, private keys, or confusing exchanges. Now you can buy Bitcoin as easily as you'd buy Apple or Tesla stock, right from your brokerage account. This means financial advisors, pension funds, and even university endowments can finally get direct exposure to Bitcoin, all within the regulated, familiar world of traditional finance. It's a true paradigm shift. Suddenly demand is coming from every corner, and accessibility is at an all-time high. According to Standard Chartered, this new, regulated wave of demand is set to drive the next major bull run in the crypto markets with institutions leading the charge. The last cycle was all about corporations adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets, but this time, it's about millions of new investors, both big and small, joining the market. Even a tiny allocation from the world's largest funds, think pensions, endowments, and insurance companies, could mean billions of dollars flowing into Bitcoin almost overnight. And with Bitcoin's fixed supply, this surge in demand could have a dramatic outsized impact on price, creating a supply shock unlike anything we've seen before. ETFs have truly opened the floodgates, the flow of institutional and retail money is just beginning, and the momentum is only building. This is the single biggest catalyst for institutional adoption and higher prices that the crypto world has ever seen, and it's only the start of a new era. Beyond ETFs, Bitcoin has a built-in catalyst, the halving. Every four years, the reward for mining new Bitcoins is cut in half, making new supply scarcer. The most recent halving was in April 2024. Historically, each halving triggers a major bull run over the next 12 to 18 months. The supply shock isn't instant, but it's powerful. Less new Bitcoin means less selling pressure from miners. Combine this with ETF-driven demand, and you have a recipe for price appreciation. It's classic supply and demand on a global scale. We're in the post-having sweet spot. Previous cycles saw their biggest gains here. The stage is set for the next big move. Another key factor. Most Bitcoin holders aren't selling. Over 60% of Bitcoin hasn't moved in over a year. True diamond hands. This takes a huge chunk of supply off the market, creating a supply squeeze. Long-term holders act as a stabilizing force, absorbing volatility. When new demand hits, it's chasing a very limited pool of coins. This dynamic can lead to explosive price moves. Bitcoin's supply is finite, no central bank can print more. The conviction of holders amplifies the effect of new capital. Diamond hands aren't just a meme, they're a market force. This is why $150,000 may be closer than it seems. AI models like ChatGPT and Claude predict Bitcoin will stay in a tight range $88,000, $92,000 through 2025. They're cautious, relying on past data and technical analysis, but AI struggles to account for paradigm shifts like ETFs and institutional adoption. Human analysts see the bigger picture, capital flows, macro trends, and changing sentiment. They recognize the game has changed with BlackRock and Fidelity in the mix. That's why their forecasts are so much more bullish. AI sees a correction. Humans see a buying opportunity. Context and narrative matter. Humans can spot game-changing events. That's why bold targets like $143,000 and $150,000 are on the table. Put it all together, and $150,000 for Bitcoin looks less like a dream and more like a logical outcome. ETFs are unlocking massive new demand, while supply is tighter than ever before. The 2024 halving has squeezed new supply, and most holders simply refuse to sell. It's classic economics, surging demand, limited supply, and a rising price. Add in global economic uncertainty, 
and Bitcoin's appeal as digital gold only grows. The path won't be straight, volatility is part of the journey for investors. But the fundamentals have never been stronger than they are now. For those who look past the noise, the future is truly bright. The next milestone isn't if, but when it will happen.